With the lapse in the high mountains, A Woman Among the Sami, 1907-1908, by Emily Demant Hatt is a remarkable exploration of the lives and culture of the Sami people through the eyes of a Danish woman who immersed herself in their world. This travelogue and ethnographic account provides a unique perspective on the Sami, an indigenous people of Northern Europe, and serves as an invaluable document of their customs, traditions, and daily life during the early 20th century. Demand Hat's narrative is both personal and ethnographic, blending her own experiences with detailed observations of the Sami way of life. Her writing captures the harsh yet beautiful landscape of the high mountains, where the Sami live in harmony with nature. The author portrays the challenges faced by the Sami, such as the extreme cold, the arduous reindeer herding, and the isolation from modern society. Yet, she also highlights their resilience, adaptability, and profound connection to their environment. One of the most striking aspects of Demant Hat's account is her genuine admiration and respect for the Sami people. She does not view them through the lens of a distant, detached observer, but rather as a participant in their community. This perspective allows her to present a nuanced and empathetic portrayal of the Sami, countering the stereotypes and misconceptions prevalent in her time. Her descriptions are vivid and rich with detail, from the intricate patterns of Sami clothing to the rhythms of their seasonal migrations. Demand Hat's ability to integrate herself into Sami society is a testament to her open-mindedness and willingness to embrace a way of life vastly different from her own. She learns the Sami language, participates in their daily activities, and forms deep bonds with the people she meets. This level of immersion provides her with insights that would be inaccessible to a casual observer. Her account is filled with anecdotes that reveal the Sami's humor, wisdom, and deep spirituality. The author's observations extend beyond the physical and social aspects of Sami life to include their spiritual beliefs and practices. She delves into their shamanistic traditions, the significance of their sacred sites, and their rituals. This exploration of Sami spirituality adds a profound layer to the narrative, illustrating how their beliefs are interwoven with their daily lives and their natural surroundings. With the lapse in the high mountains, is also notable for its portrayal of gender roles within Sami society. Demand Hat provides a rare glimpse into the lives of Sami women, highlighting their vital contributions to the community and their strength in the face of adversity. She contrasts this with the roles of Sami men, offering a balanced view of the gender dynamics in Sami culture. Her reflections on these roles are insightful, revealing both the egalitarian aspects of Sami society and the challenges women face. The book's historical context is also significant. Written during a time when indigenous cultures were often marginalized or misunderstood by Western society, Demand Hat's account stands out for its respectful and appreciative approach. Her work can be seen as an early effort in cultural preservation, capturing a way of life that was already under threat from external pressures and modernization. In conclusion, Emily Demant Hatz, with The Lapse in the High Mountains, A Woman Among the Sami, 1907-1908, is a compelling and richly detailed account of the Sami people and their environment. Her immersive approach and genuine respect for the Sami culture result in a narrative that is both informative and deeply moving. Through her eyes, readers gain an intimate understanding of the Sami's resilience, spirituality, and enduring connection to their land. The book remains an important work for anyone interested in indigenous cultures, ethnography, and the history of the Sami people.